This is a Virginia-class submarine, one of the most advanced submarines in the United States Navy. Equipped with nuclear reactors, it never runs out of fuel. It carries a large arsenal of weapons, including Tomahawk missiles and torpedo missiles. One of the key features of the Virginia-class submarines is their stealth capabilities. These submarines are designed to be as quiet as possible, making it difficult for enemy ships or submarines to detect them. This stealthiness allows them to operate undetected in enemy waters, gathering intelligence and performing important missions without being detected. These submarines are designed to dive deep underwater and return to the surface as needed. But how exactly do they manage this incredible feat? The answer lies in the principle of buoyancy. Buoyancy is the upward force exerted by the water on the submarine. Water pressure increases with depth, so the pressure is greater beneath the submarine than above it. This pressure difference creates an upward force known as buoyancy. A submarine floats when its weight is less than the buoyant force and sinks when its weight is greater than that force. At its most basic level, a submarine is a large vessel that can change its weight to dive or rise in the water, achieved through the use of ballast tanks. A Virginia-class submarine has two main ballast tanks, one at the rear and one at the front. When the ballast tanks contain air, the submarine's weight is less than the buoyant force, allowing it to float on the surface. To dive, the crew releases air from the tanks, allowing water to seep in. This process makes the submarine heavier than the buoyant force acting upon it, causing it to sink. Used on their own, ballast tanks would cause the submarine to submerge rather slowly. However, submarines often need to dive or ascend quickly. To facilitate this, they're equipped with hydroplanes, small wings that protrude from the hull, similar to those of an aircraft. When diving, the hydroplanes are rotated forward. The water pressure acting on the hydroplanes provides additional downward force, much like an aircraft wing. By adjusting the angle of the hydroplanes, the crew can manage the speed of descent, ensuring a safe and stable dive. Once the submarine reaches the desired depth, it can maintain its position by balancing buoyancy. The crew can adjust the amount of water in the ballast tanks to achieve neutral buoyancy, which allows the submarine to remain suspended in place without sinking or rising. Neutral buoyancy occurs when the submarine's weight equals the buoyant force. When it's time to ascend, the process is reversed. The submarine expels water from its ballast tanks using compressed air. This action decreases the submarine's weight, making it lighter than the surrounding water. As a result, buoyancy pushes the submarine upward. Just like when diving, the crew rotates the hydroplanes backwards to control the speed of the ascent ensuring that it's gradual and controlled until the submarine reaches the surface. The Virginia-class submarines are equipped with top and bottom rudders, which are used for side-to-side -side movement. The top rudder, positioned higher on the vehicle's frame, enhances handling at high speeds. This is crucial when a submarine needs to make quick adjustments to avoid obstacles or respond rapidly during tactical operations. On the other hand, the bottom rudder is essential for slow speed operations and provides enhanced control when the submarine is diving or surfacing. A Virginia-class submarine is powered by a nuclear reactor, which operates on the principle of nuclear fission, similar to a traditional nuclear power plant. In this process, fuel rods filled with uranium-235 pellets are placed inside the reactor core, initiating a fission chain reaction that releases a large amount of heat. This heat is absorbed by the water surrounding the fuel rods, which is kept under extremely high pressure to prevent it from boiling. The superheated water is then pumped into steam generators, where it transfers its heat to water inside a separate tank. This causes the water to boil and turn into steam. The steam is directed towards steam turbines, where it drives the turbine blades to spin rapidly. These blades are connected to a shaft that rotates with the spinning blades. The shaft is linked to a gearbox that adjusts the rotational speed to a level suitable for the propeller. The gearbox connects to the propeller through another shaft, causing it to rotate at a controlled speed. As the propeller spins, it pushes water backwards like a jet stream, 
generating thrust that propels the submarine forward. The propeller is designed for high efficiency, which allows the submarine to reach remarkable speeds. Additionally, the shroud surrounding the propeller reduces noise, enhancing the submarine's stealth capabilities. One major advantage of nuclear power in submarines is the extended operational range. A Virginia-class submarine can operate for years without refueling, enabling it to remain submerged for long periods. This capability is critical for strategic military operations, making these submarines less predictable and increasing their endurance during missions. This is the sleeping area where the crews sleep. The sleeping quarters are designed to maximize space and comfort for each crew member, with bunk beds and storage lockers provided for personal items. The crew members are assigned specific bunks to ensure everyone has a designated resting area. This area is essential for crew members to recharge and stay alert while on duty, as lack of sleep can lead to reduced cognitive function and increased risk of accidents. Below the sleeping deck is a dining area and the kitchen where the crew members come together to eat their meals. The meals are carefully planned to provide balanced nutrition and ensure the crew remains healthy and energized during their deployment. The dining area also serves as a space for relaxation and socialization, allowing crew members to take a break from their duties and interact with their peers. This is the control room, which is like the brain of the whole submarine. It's where the captain and crew members operate all the important systems that keep the submarine running smoothly. In the control room, there are lots of buttons, screens, and controls that help the crew navigate the submarine underwater. They use sonar, radar, and other high-tech equipment to help them see what's around them and make sure they stay safe. The crew also communicates with other submarines and ships using special radios in the control room. Overall, the control room is where all the action happens on a Virginia-class submarine, and it takes a smart and skilled crew to operate it effectively. On the sail of the submarine are thin structures called masts. They're controlled by the crew and can be raised or lowered depending on whether the sub is on the surface or underwater. This is a photonic mast, which works by rising above the water, providing visual information about the outside world just like a periscope. The other antennas in the mast are adaptable mast, multifunction mast, high data rate mast, and global positioning data. They play a crucial role in detecting and tracking targets, as well as communicating with other submarines and surface vessels. Generating plenty of oxygen is crucial for the survival of the crew. One of the key components in creating breathable air in a Virginia-class submarine is the oxygen generator. The oxygen generator uses a process called electrolysis to split water molecules into oxygen and hydrogen gas. The process begins by drawing in seawater through an intake system, which then goes through a filtration process to remove any impurities that might interfere with operations. Once filtered, the seawater is subjected to electrolysis, which involves passing an electric current through the water. This current splits the water into its basic components, hydrogen and oxygen. The oxygen generated during electrolysis is collected and distributed throughout the submarine through the air ventilation system. This process is crucial in providing a steady supply of breathable air for the crew members on board. Furthermore, the submarine has CO2 scrubbing technology, which removes carbon dioxide from the air to prevent it from reaching hazardous levels. By combining oxygen production and CO2 management, the submarines can support their crew for extended periods underwater. Torpedoes are the main weapon used in Virginia-class submarines for attacking enemy ships. They're self-propelled missiles, which can travel underwater to reach their target. These powerful weapons are designed to be launched from the torpedo tubes, which are specially designed chambers located at the front. When the crew decides to fire a torpedo, they load it into the torpedo tube and launch it by setting the appropriate course, speed, and depth settings. When the torpedo is launched from the submarine, it's propelled forward by a powerful rocket engine. This engine powers the torpedo's propeller, which pushes it through the water at high speeds, allowing it to quickly reach its target. The torpedo is also equipped with a fuel tank powering the motor, a warhead containing explosive material, and the sensors that help guide it towards the intended target. 
These sensors can detect things like the sound of a ship's engine or the heat signature of a submarine. Once the torpedo reaches its target, it detonates, causing significant damage to the enemy ship or submarine. Another key weapon used in Virginia-class submarines is the Tomahawk missile. The Tomahawk missile is a long-range, all-weather, subsonic cruise missile used for land attack warfare. The Tomahawk missile is launched from vertical launch tubes. When the crew is ready to launch a missile, it's loaded into the launch tube and the tube is flooded with water. This allows the missile to be ejected from the tube and propelled to the surface where it can ignite its motor and fly towards its target. Once the missile's in flight, it uses a combination of GPS navigation to reach its target. When the missile reaches its target, the warhead is detonated to destroy the target. At the front of a Virginia class is a sonar, a crucial technology used in submarines to detect objects underwater. Sonar stands for sound navigation and ranging, and it works by sending out pulses of sound waves into the water and then listening for the echoes that bounce back. This allows the crew to create a detailed picture of the underwater environment and detect objects. The science and engineering behind the Virginia-class submarines are truly remarkable. These submarines are designed with advanced technology. The engineers and scientists responsible for creating these submarines have pushed the boundaries of innovation and produced a vessel crucial in today's naval operations.